Hey guys, today we have a few printers here, three of them, that we're going to use in order to look into the secret or hidden menu, whatever people call it. And uh, we're going to use HP OfficeJet 2620, NV5055, and NV Photo 7155. Those are the printers that I was able to find that were kind of like different in a way similar. To, these have um, an absolute touch screen so it's 100% touch screen except the power button and this one it has buttons besides the touch screen so it really is not a touch screen here but sometimes you might say oh well my printer what it's it doesn't have that option it, particularly for example the hardware failure reset and I'm gonna show you how to get into each one of those but particularly I want you to just make sure that you don't give up your printer does have that option if it looks like any of these here. It does have the option to go into the secret menu. What most of us are going to have a problem with on our printer, which has a touch screen, is finding the back button. So if you go to copy, you're going to see it right away. It's lit up right here. But if you're trying to go to uh, reset or find that secret menu, it just kind of goes away. But Keep in mind, it's not a huge area. You're not really going to get lost in here. So you can kind of see that the home button is right here. The back button is right here. So it's the back button is at, at the bottom of the question mark. And even if it's not lit up, you know it's kind of like in this area. So and it's going to, even if you're close to it, it's going to still detect your finger there. So... On this one, what we need to do, this is the HP Envy Photo 7155 printer. We're going to be on the home page or we're going to go to the home page and we're just going to press this three or four times in a row. So the back button, one, two, three, four. There we go. If you press five times, it'll just go to support menu and then go back. So try it again. So uh, for example, I go one, two, three, four, five. So it went into the menu, but then I pressed the back button when it lit up. So one, two, three, four. Go to support menu. We're going to scroll down to um, system configuration, hardware failure status, and we're going to press OK to clear that. So I'm going to go back out of here. This this is the uh, HP 70, 7155 that we already have a similar video about. Let's go up to this HP Envy. Uh, 5055 printer. I removed the ink cartridges just to show you that you do not need to have the ink cartridges installed or um, if it's not going to let you go into the menu and you have ink cartridges installed and ink cartridges are giving you a problem then just remove them and you can just do the reset or whatever you want to do or hardware failure reset um, on the printer. So on this one it's I believe the same concept so we have the back button like if we go to the question mark it'll sh let, uh, show us these buttons here so home button is right here and back button is right here so let's get out of here this is our home page so we're gonna press this a few times also one two three four one two three so on this one we're just gonna press the um, question mark and then one two three four so pretty much the same is uh, very similar so just play around with it even if you skip for example you hit the support menu you see that menu and then you hit the button back so at least now you know you that you need to press this and just uh, a few times on the um, back button then you go into the support menu scroll down to um, system configuration why I'm going there is just to show you that these printers are different but they're gonna have the same uh, they're gonna have that reset or semi full reset or hardware failure status reset so you just go to OK and then to clear it you just press OK um, if somebody told you that that's what you need to do then uh, this is how to get into the menu and then just uh, best thing to do is after you've done it just go ahead and restart the printer so that's the printer that we were just working on the HP NV5055 printer let's go up to our HP OfficeJet 2620 printer 
and take a look at this menu here. It's a little bit different. It's not touch screen, but once again, I want to prove to you that you can get to a menu on almost any HP printer. At least let's talk about inkjet ones um, with a few tricks. And you can get into the secret menu in order to maybe just kind of reset your printer. You want to keep using it. You want to try different things. So before you give up on it, check out this menu. On this uh, printer, if we're at our home uh, page right here, this is what it's going to look like. And on here, see if, if we press, so even if we're at the home page right here or the home screen, we're going to press the home button and then go straight over here and press this dash menu select button kind of right here not the back button but this one here we're gonna press it a couple times two or three times so let's do that one two three there we go so I went home press this three times then went home and press this twice let me see if we don't have to do all that let me just play with the menu and uh, show you exactly how that's done okay so you're gonna press home button this button home and this one twice there we go so there is a way for each printer it's just gonna be a few clicks here there some back buttons some will have this button right here and on this one we also do not have any ink cartridges so I'm gonna turn this off I'm gonna turn it back on and uh, it's gonna give me a uh, ink cartridge missing message over here and we're gonna just go ahead and try to get into the support menu by skipping that so once again let's try this here home this button home and twice on this there we go it's working even if it's some message on the screen um, you can just get there and we're going to go support menu we're going to select once again in this video i'm concentrating on the system con um, on the hardware failure status reset i'm going to press ok and then we're going to press ok to clear it and then we're going to press cancel to continue so cancel to back out of this uh, system uh so this support menu you can find a lot of fun things like i said resets you can do semi full reset i've done it before where printer just giving some message after message it's it's really not knowing what it's doing and it won't do its work so semi full reset just basically resets it in most cases you won't need to change any cartridges and it's very rare that I've heard that you need to re get other cartridges. It's usually just a semi-full reset. It's not like a factory full reset. So you should be good there. <clears throat> um, so that's that's how you get into these printer menus. Really, it's not rocket, rocket science. It's basic things. Many of us don't know about it until we watch 303 Electronics, for example. <laughs> There's uh, other people that talk about this. Uh, I found out about it from some blog when I w had problems with my uh, printers years ago. So, And then a lot of them I was able to later find the ways to get into. And some models I have listed, some I don't. There's so many printer models out there. Um, maybe one day I'll have all of them in there. But in any case, comment in the area below in the section below and let me know what your model is I'll look into it and I'll post a video on how to do yours um, or share how how you've done it share it in the comment section and thank you so much for watching